All right, the bins just opened, 8 a.m. I go right to the hard good and shoe aisle first. Took a quick look, found a few items. Here's a Radio Shack AV switch. Fishing rod, but I only wanted the reel, so I removed it. Here's some sunglasses, I didn't even bother to cop them, just threw them all in my bag. Here's a Christian Dior vintage tie, but I left it behind. And here's a good pair of Adidas that had comps in the 50s, but only one of them. While waiting for the aisles to fill, I had a sale come in. Uh, there's Tommy Jeans sweatshirt. And here I found a pair of Dansko, which is a great brand. What's going on guys? Thanks for stopping by checking out the video. So it's 9.45 and I just came out of the bins, as you saw. And I got a decent haul. I got seven pounds and some interesting items for sure. And um, should probably make maybe a couple hundred bucks out of there. But we'll go through it later. So right now, on to the next stop. All right, just pulled up to the next stop, St. Vincent de Paul. Hit or miss, but they're good for some vintage stuff sometimes. All right, we're just leaving St. Vincent de Paul. My GoPro died and my phone got very low. So I didn't film anything in there. Only got a few things. Found another granny square blanket. I got some children's books and a vintage t-shirt. All right, just got to the third stop. It's literally a mile up the road from St. Vincent de Paul. This is the one where I gotta take the elevator upstairs. Uh, prices on clothing are like three, five dollars for a shirt. So I gotta find some really good solid pieces to buy them. So this is the place where two weeks ago I found that um, trackball mouse and the HP calculator. So this place does have some good clothing sometimes. I have found Peter Millar. I have found Masters. This is the place I found that Stefano Ricci dress shirt that I sold for 150. So I do take the time to look through the men's section because I have often found good ones. So in the shirts there was a lot of good brands. There was Brooks Brothers, you know, Polo Ralph Lauren, Vintage and New. Good ones that you can make like a bundle of two or three. But at that bundle I would want a dollar each, not like four or five dollars which they are here. So look at all the blankets in the back. Let's go check those out. See if we can find a good, maybe no, I think I see one, way on the end, let's go look. There's definitely a bunch of handmade ones here. They want that square pattern. That one down the end is square, it looks kind of ugly from here, but let's see. Yeah, it's not a good looking attractive color. I think I'm going to pass on that one. When I was here two weeks ago for the sale, this case was packed. That's where I got that trackball mouse. Now it's empty. Here's a vintage massager, but only goes for like in the 20, so at 10 bucks, it's gotta be a pass. So always gotta keep your head on a swivel. I was just going from one department to the next in here. And this was hanging right on the end. Vineyard Vines women's nice sweater. All right, so while I was in St. Vincent de Paul, I had a second sale come up, 1037. That first one was at 822 when I was in the bins. And there's a pair of cool, and there's a pair of cool revolver men's hiking pants. Sold for 3275 plus ship. All right, we're all done in there. Um, only got that Vineyard Vine sweater. And on the way to the cash register, I picked up a vintage hat. And good thing I didn't find a lot because I always pay with card and when I got to the register, uh, their machine was down. They had no internet. And I always carried like a 10 or 20 on me. To, and luckily I did, so I paid cash. So let's go home and we'll go through the hall. Alright, back home. Decent hall, three stops. The bins, St. Vincent de Paul, and then a local place called Faith Farms. Here's what I got at the bins. A pair of Dansko. These are like a leather suede. But overall, the shoe is in good shape. I showed that fishing rod, but I didn't want the rod, I just wanted the reel. And it had that, that, that screw nut on it. Screw it off and you slide it down and the reel comes right off. So I took the reel. It is a pen 309 level wind it is called. 
I looked up real quick and I had decent comps. That's kind of heavy, so that might have been like three, four bucks. That bag of sunglasses, I think I showed that. I didn't see what they were, but all these bags, when I got home, I put them on the scale. All these sunglasses only weighed four ounces. That's a quarter a pound. At $1.89 a pound, for math, let's call it $2 a pound. A quarter of that is 50 cents. So these cost me 50 cents. I didn't know what they were. Just throw them in the bag if they're so light. And they seem to be like cycling sunglasses. This is a pair of Nike. These other three, I can't tell. One is called Riders. The other two, I can't tell what brands they are. Let's see. God, I kind of like these. I might just keep them. I'll wear them tomorrow when I drive. We'll see how they work. Grab this Radio Shack. AV switcher. And it is still brand new in the package. Picked up two pair of pants. Going late on the clothing because I've been having shoulder issues. I've actually been going to therapy. Doing a lot of workouts to get my neck and my shoulder back to being better. Either way, a pair of Miss Me jeans. A little embezzlement, a little distressing, decent. These are McDonald's employee pants. Look at the logo. I know some, you know, like, what is it, um, oh God, Chick-fil-A. Those sell. So I looked these up, and their used pants go for like 20-something dollars. So I grabbed them. And then I got this single stitch t-shirt. I saw it right waiting for them to blow the whistle. I looked down and right in front of me I saw the sleeve with single stitch. So I started, I just grabbed it through on my lap kept going. And it turns out it's a St. John sportswear, which I'm sure everybody has seen St. John clothing. And it just has a St. John spell out on the chest and like these metal attachments. So Single stitch made in USA. Gotta look into this. This could be, you know, decent profit. I got the bins. It came out to seven pounds, and it was like fourteen dollars and twenty cents, I think, because it's a dollar eighty-nine a pound. Second stop, St. Vincent de Paul. I got some books. Fifteen books. They're very skinny books. Like this, all in excellent condition. Pinocchio, 101 Dalmatians, Beauty and the Beast, Winnie the Pooh. Toy Story, Mulan, Hercules, Simba, Jungle Book, Aladdin, Peter Pan, Little Mermaid, Dumbo, Winnie the Pooh, and Tigger, and Bambi. So those are five dollars. Sell them all is a lot. Decent comps. I got another granny. I guess it's a granny square blanket. Pretty big. Good colors. That was four dollars. Sometimes they have some good vintage clothing, and I um. I only found one t-shirt and it's on a pro player made in USA tag and it says fire soccer Chicago all right then the third stop on the way to the cashier they had a little hat rack with nothing special but then I found this one and then I showed this in the video the vineyard vines Women's sweater. It's got like these cool, like wooden, like latch buttons, you could say. Very good condition. And this was four dollars. So I spent fourteen at the bins, four, five, nine, ten at the second stop, St. Vincent de Paul. That makes twenty-four and four, five, twenty-nine. So that's thirty bucks, you could say, with tax. And now let's take a look at the comps.
continue watching.